Welcome back. You're listening to Get Real with Bob and Stacy. You're joining us for our Leaders and Legends segment. Our first guest today is Lisa Sugar, author of Power Your Happy and founder of Pop Sugar. Welcome to the show, Lisa. Thanks for having me. So I want to give everybody some background on Lisa. She began blogging about celebrities in fashion as a passion project from her San Francisco living room 11 years ago. She was 29 years old, married, pregnant, and had a burgeoning career in advertising. But when Pop Sugar started growing like crazy, within a year she had one million readers. She decided to leave her established career behind and start a company of her own. Fast forward to today, Pop Sugar is the number one lifestyle media brand for women, delivering inspiring, informative, and entertaining content across subjects such as entertainment, fashion, beauty, fitness, food, news, parenting, and more, garnering a staggering 1.5 billion global monthly content views across video, social, and mobile. Though Lisa makes it look easy, building a hugely successful company with 500 employees doesn't materialize overnight. It takes vision, drive, and passion. In an inspiring and prescriptive new book, Power Your Happy, Work Hard, Play Nice, and Build Your Dream Life, Lisa shares the story of how she and her husband Brian built the Pop Sugar Empire from the ground up, revealing stories from her personal life, the critical choices she made along her journey, and how she continues to nurture her dream company today. Amazing stuff. So tell us first a little bit about the book. Um, The book is the story of Pop Sugar, which a lot of people don't know, but it Mm -hmm. also is really just practical advice on how to do more of what you love every day. So for some people, it'll end up in an ultimate career change, which is what happened for myself. And for other people, it'll be, you know, maybe just how to incorporate more of that hobby that they love and really figuring out how to be happier every day. So do you have any advice for people that just aren't sure? So maybe they're in a job, for example, and they're not really sure what they're passionate about. How do they find it? Yes, I talk a lot about finding clues along the way. So Mm -hmm. things that maybe you're trying to race out of the office to go do, because that's something you'd really rather spend your time doing. Or maybe start looking for compliments that people are giving you. So, uh, you know, are you somebody who's helping your friends out with something? And it could be a variety of different things, and you don't even realize it's something you're really good at. And if you keep hearing that compliment over and over, it's like, oh, if I'm really talented in this, maybe this is something that I could make money off of in the future. So it's picking up on these clues in various places. And it should be that combination of something that you might be good at, as well as that you just really want to do in your spare time. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So you talk about in the book as well, that it's important for each of us to major in our health. What is that about? Yeah, I think that, you know, we all get so crazy working, you know, really long, hard hours. And, you know, hopefully if we like our job, even that's really awesome. And you, but you could also be really unhealthy because you never actually get up and move around. And in my case, it was uh, when I was starting Pop Sugar, I w- had another job at the time. And then when I decided to go all in on Pop Sugar, I had to force myself to, you know, just even get up and walk every day because mm-hmm. I could have just stayed glued to my couch and the computer. And I really wanted to make sure that I got my body moving, and I think it's really important to, you know, figure out ways that you can clear your head. I think you become more creative. So ways that you can be healthy while still being able to indulge in things that you really like that may or may not be healthy. Right. So I know now you have over 500 employees, and you talk a lot about the importance of building an all-star team. How do you find an all-star team? I think that it's really important to find people who are, have different talents than yourself, mm-hmm. um, as well as people who have like-minded values. So if you can find people who are you know, as passionate about your story or your vision or what it is you're working on, and you, know, you can get advice from them, I think that the all-star team doesn't necessarily have to be just coworkers. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be your mom. It could be um, people you haven't met in real life. So for me, when I started Pop Sugar, the audience was leaving a lot of comments, and they were actually – telling me more of what they wanted and they were cheering me on and that was very encouraging for me. So it's, it's looking in all sorts of places, whether it's actual, you know, coworkers that you're going to hire that mm-hmm. are going to help you in some way to people who are giving you advice and, and are able to lead you in a way that you didn't know, you know, if you don't know them firsthand. Right. So when you first started Pop Sugar, you had another job in advertising. Like, yeah. what did you think this would end up just being like a part-time fun thing to do? You know, I, I wanted to write, and it was really an exercise for me to get myself in the habit of writing every day because that was, you know, I had a friend who was a writer, and he said, 
you really just need to start doing it. And once you can get your like mind trained to do it every day, it'll just start coming more naturally to you. And it was really great advice. And that is one of the reasons why I started it. I, I felt like it was really hard for me to get a job at a traditional media company or at a place, you know, without experience. So it was more about me getting into that habit of writing. And over time, it became what was and is still the voice of Pop Sugar. Um, but it was really more just to get myself in that habit. That's awesome. So you're still writing content daily too? I don't get to write as much as I would like to. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I now that we have the book coming out and we've just launched a career in finance site, I am able to go back to writing some more. But I spend my time doing a lot of other parts of the business now. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. do you have any practical tips? Because a big chunk of the book is about like finding something you love to do and uh, pursuing it. Do you have any practical tips for people on how to find a job? Yeah, I mean, the, the book has a ton of tips on, you know, whether it's where to actually look for jobs or who to actually talk to or how to make a cover letter stand out. There's a lot of really specific advice in there um, that can that can help, you know, lead you to making sure that you're, you know, when someone looks at a resume, they right. look, glance at it for maybe 10, 15 seconds. So yes. how do you make your stand out, whether it's from a design perspective or obviously not having any spelling errors, because that's like a number one thing to show me that that's, there's carelessness there. Right. So there's a lot of practical advice, like tips and tricks like that. Hmm. And I'd, I'd love to know too, you talk about how when you were first starting in your first year, you ended up with a million readers. I mean, that, yeah. that number is just so staggering to me. In 12 <laughs> months, you could pick up a million people following your content. Yeah. How did you do it? And, and this, was, you know, this was back in you know, 2005 and mm-hmm. 2006. So um, you know, part of it was it, I was very different than what was out there. A lot of the content that was out there was either a traditional media company where they would just sort of give you an article where the facts were the who, what, where, when, whys, or everything else was really snarky and mean. And Pop Sugar was a very fun, fan-friendly environment where I was very excited to find something out and then tell you about it. Um, and I did it in a way as if I'm talking to you now. It was, you know, a lot of first person, and people really resonated with that, and they really felt like they were just reading something that their good friend was telling them about. And now you're up to a billion and a half views per month? So we have um, like 2.4 con- million con- billion. 2.4 billion actually content views but so that includes like you know we do a lot of video now mm-hmm. um, across all of our verticals and then because of social we're able to project and get a lot more engagement when pop sugar first started it was all on popsugar.com but you know within the past five six years with social media uh, our content is everywhere and, and people are consuming us on you know snapchat facebook and so on wow hmm. so even for people that are pursuing their passion are there days, I know you love what you do, but are there uh-huh. days where like you just don't want to get out of bed because it's too much stress? And if so, how do you get past those days? <laughs> the only days I don't want to get out of bed is because, you know, one of one, two or all three of my kids have like made it a really bad night's sleep for some reason mm-hmm. or another. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, I really I talk about how I, I enjoy going to work as much on a Monday morning as I do, you know, being home on a Saturday with my family and running around to soccer games. I really, every day has been different. And like you asked, you know, do I write as much? Mm -hmm. The company has grown so much. And uh, this is the same is true for a lot of our employees. Their jobs have changed and we've learned so many new skills. I mean, now I'm learning, you know, something new every day. And I think that's what's so exciting about what we've created is, you know, I, I wrote for many, many years. I still get to think of a lot of really great ideas and be creative every day. But now I also get to learn, you know, about the business. Or in this case, I get to learn about, you know, book publishing and talking about our company and what we've built and, and why I'm so proud of that. So, uh, no, I really I haven't had uh, any of those days in a really, really long time. And I'm very grateful for that. Hmm, that's amazing. <laughs> now, have you had yeah. any mentors along the way? Um, I, I like to say that I look up to someone, you know, like a Beyonce. Like when I think yes. of like people just doing amazing things out there, mm-hmm. I look at someone like a Beyonce who, you know, on some days can show me some really fun pictures as if she's, you know, just a mom like me, yes. but then on other days can drop a completely beautiful visual album and then be on tour the next week with a fully choreographed, you know, concert with yes. every step in place. And that to me is just incredible. Mm-hmm. Huh. I love that because so <laughs> often in business and life, we people will be looking for like an actual mentor when if you just look all around you in the media and the people that inspire you, you can pick up little tips. It doesn't have to be like 
an actual mentor relationship, just be yeah, inspired. And I think that that's, I think that what was important for Pop Sugar was we all lift each other up. We really have such an encouraging environment within the company that it's, it's fun to look at people outside and see what they're doing and how they can lift us up. Right. In your book, you talk about the importance of nurturing the relationships that matter in life. Any advice for people on how do you figure out which relationships are most important to nurture? I think that over the years, you figure out who is really there for you and who mm-hmm. really is encouraging you to be the best version of yourself. And knowing that you have those people in your life, you need to give back to them as much as possible as well. And you know, I've been extremely fortunate to be surrounded by so many great people and, and being able to attract such great talent for the company. You know, I'm so excited that these people come and spend so much time you know, dedicating to our company and building it up that I just want to give that back to them. And then from a personal perspective outside, I, you know, I've just had great friends and lifelong relationships and lifelong friendships that have really helped keep me grounded in everything else that's Yep. craziness that does happen on a day-to-day basis. That's awesome. And what's interesting, so your husband is involved and has helped, has been very much a part of building the business. How do you guys divide up time so that you're not stepping on one another's toes? <laughs> and are you talking about Pop Sugar at Thanksgiving? <laughs> like, um, is yeah, this all day? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, we, uh, we work together. Brian actually, you know, he and I founded the company together. And, you know, so far it's worked out really, really well for us. Um, we definitely do different parts of the business a lot of the time. So we are in meetings together, but for the most part, most days we're actually not because um, we're focused on, you know, some different stuff. And then when it comes to Thanksgiving, one of our other founders is at our Thanksgiving dinner and <laughs> has been, you know, since I was a you know kid. So it's, uh, it's pretty incredible that, yes, we can bring it into our um, personal lives, but we also know when to turn it off. And, you know, not everybody in the family works at Pop Sugar, so we know that, you know, it's nice to not, it's, to take, it's good to take breaks from talking about business. Yes, absolutely. So we <laughs> still have a few more minutes, but uh, before yeah. I ask you one or two more questions, where is the best place for people to buy the new book? Uh, PowerYourHappy.com okay. is, um, can tell you everywhere. There's audio and um, Kindle versions as well, but PowerYourHappy.com is where they can buy the book. Okay, awesome. And yeah. let's talk about how you are balancing the rest of your life with three kids. So <laughs> do you shut off for weekends? You're just not even working on Pop Sugar stuff, or you still, is it just always on? Um, I, I would say it's more always on, yeah. but I also know when to turn off. So by all means, I have my phone attached to me and you know, anyone can get me at any time. Um, you know, we're a very email heavy company. Um, there are a lot of folks that have weekend shifts. So there are people who we hire that actually do cover because, you know, we're a news organization. So we need people actually working on the weekends. And so I, I don't necessarily have to be as tuned in, but then we also do a lot of award season stuff. We just had the Emmys and, you know, that falls mm-hmm. on a Sunday. So by all means, we have all hands on deck and, you know, there are times when, you know, I'll host a party at the house. And so the kids, you know, will even be there seeing what we're doing um, as we're all working, you know, getting our content up. So it really, um, it really blends. But if I need to be at a soccer game, which I love being at, uh, you know, I'm there. Yes. <laughs> and mm-hmm. I'm and I'm watching and I'm all in. Okay. So let's talk. I know I keep jumping around, but going back to finding a job. So mm-hmm. one of the pieces that I love, you talk about when somebody's going on, for example, an interview, we always think like, let's show up and we're ready to answer any questions they have. But you say be pr- proactive and have questions ready. You have a list of killer questions ready to ask the employer and to use the time to make sure it's a place that you would enjoy going to work every day. Yeah, I mean, I, I believe in the two-way interview. By the time somebody comes into Pop Sugar, we've already seen a writing sample. We've done phone screenings. Like, we know that this person is probably qualified to do the job. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I just want to know more about them. I want to see how their mind thinks. I want to see if, you know, they bring uh, some new knowledge to the company. And I want them to ask me questions, too, because I want to know what it is that gets them going. So, you know, if they come in and they're kind of like, oh, I don't have any questions, I'm like, all right, well, that's fine. I can just keep asking some. But I, I want it to be, you know, two-way, and I, and I say that, too, because I want people, when they come in and they see our culture and they see the way people are dressed, do they think that this is the type of company that they would want to be a part of? Because you really – I want people to come in and be with us for a long time and be a part of the family and 
really get excited about what they're joining. And I believe that that is a, a two-way hmm. process. That's awesome. So my last question for you, you've al- already had, have had massive success, 2.5 billion uh, regular yeah. readers. Now you have your new book published. Like, do you still have goals, big, even bigger goals oh, yeah. beyond this? <laughs> what, what's next for you? I mean, there's, I think the possibilities are still endless. There's, yes. you know, much larger media companies than us out there. There's lots of ways we can continue to keep growing or partnering or content that we can create. Like I mentioned, video is a, a huge part of our business. So whether it's, you know, movies or more um, long form content than we've done in the past, there's a variety of ways that, um, that we can keep growing. Hmm. Do you get to in- interview yeah. a lot of uh, Hollywood celebrities? We do, yeah. We are, you know, we were on the red carpet at the Emmys. We've been doing this for, you know, ten years, where we're at major events. We do. Um, we used to have a show called I'm a Huge Fan, where we would bring in a pop sugar reader and she'd get to meet Beyonce or Jennifer Aniston or Anne Hathaway or Reese Witherspoon. I mean, really, just amazing stuff with wonderful talent. What was the most in- most fun interview you got to do personally? Oh. Um, that is a hard one. I have not done interviews in a really long time, but I would say, oh, see, now I'm totally blanking. You stumped me on this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, there must be so many of them. There's so many. And you know what? We have such an amazing team that is like so in it. And with the LA team, which is where most of the talent does come in from, um, that they come, we, you know, they come into the studio that we have down in LA and, so we've had such an amazing variety of talent, and uh, and the celebrities know that you know we're there because we're fans of what they're creating for us. So mm-hmm. it's a really fun, uh, it's a really fun opportunity for us to be with them. That's cool, excellent. Yeah. So that's uh, that's that ends. That's we're just about out of time now. So we really appreciate you joining us on the show today, Lisa. And Thank once you again, for where, me. where's the best place to get your book? Uh, PowerYourHappy.com. Okay, excellent. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more Get Real after this.